You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, Mr. President, so we're in the campus of, of, of Morris Brown, uh, and this campus used to be larger. Yes. So, you know, what has changed now? Are you down to, is it what, a couple of buildings? Yes. So here at Morris Brown, we historically had 42 acres of land. During bankruptcy, we lost about 36 acres. Wow. So right now, we have three buildings here at Morris Brown. Uh, our administration building, which right. is now known as the Dr. Gloria L. Anderson Multipurpose Complex. We have Griffin High Tower Science Building and then Fountain Hall, which is our historic symbol of the institution. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois' office is on the second floor. I was last here when the uh, the BT show, The Quad, a yes. shot on this campus. Yes. Uh, now that you uh, have the accreditation, what's the next? What's the next step? Um, yes. Because obviously you so, you had to so, you had to sow land. Yes. So so what's next uh, with these three buildings? Is it refurbishing? So so what's yes. the next steps for Morris Brown? Yes. So we just refurbished this building, the multi-purpose complex. We're not fully accredited yet. Our okay. application was approved. Right. And they will be here in two weeks to come and look at the facilities for the right. on-site visit. Hello. Um, once we get the through the visit, the panel on. our goal is to be a candidate for accreditation in April. Okay. And so in a few months. Uh, regarding these buildings, right now we're prepping to turn this building right here into a hotel. Okay. So we're going to tie it into our hospitality and management training program. So this right here, and they were currently working on restoring Fountain Hall. All right. Now that's a historic landmark. It can never go anywhere. It will be here forever. Uh, so, but 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 the whole point, part of the, the whole point of accreditation is yes. Uh, you, you have to it, facilities are a huge part Absolutely. of accreditation. Absolutely. And so, you turn that to the hotel. Now, is that where, uh, if, if you get the accreditation, where students will stay? Well, we're looking at some extended stay housing, but we're looking at housing options right now for our students. Online learning is going to be critically important for our restoration of the institution. And so that's going to be a part of it. And we're also looking at trying to get some of the land surrounding the institution back. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, and so, so in terms of, if you talk about, okay, April, um, when, when do you think you will be back? Uh, in uh, full operation yes. uh, as a fully uh, accredited restored university? Well, after a candidacy, which is the most important for us, we're eligible to apply for federal financial aid. That's the most important for us right now. After candidacy, it's somewhere between three to five years, or it could be somewhere between two to five years, just depending on how fast you get through proving everything that you need to prove. But Morris Brown, we intend on doing it very quickly. So you have, for folks who might say, look, why are you going through all of this? You've got Clark Atlanta, you've yes. got Morehouse, you've got Spelman. Uh, folks can go there. Why invest money in this when you can actually consolidate yes. uh, to be able to serve the needs uh, of uh, students? Well, we're Morris Brown. We've been open since 1881, and we don't want to merge with any other institution. We want to fully restore this institution. You know, Morris Brown is very special. We're the only black college in the state that was founded by black people for black people. You know, nothing against any other institution, but we're the original for us by us, and we want to continue uh, to move this institution forward. The blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors, we're not going to allow it to die. Okay. So we're going to continue to push forward as Morris Brown College. Uh, are you still, uh, in terms of uh, what role does the church still play yes. uh, in Morris Brown? Uh, and for folks out there who are saying, okay, why haven't they done more to help yes. the university uh, to restore it? Well, actually, the, we are still affiliated with the AME Church. We're founded in the basement of Big Bethel AME Church. Uh, we are a AME Church affiliated institution. Now, regarding them helping us, they've absolutely helped us over the years. As a matter of fact, the only reason we're open today is because of the support of the AME Church. Most recently, they, they showed up and showed out by forgiving $4.2 million that we owed them mm. so we can get accredited. And so there's, and they're still supporting us financially. They just, uh, at homecoming, uh, presented a check for $120,000 on behalf of the 6th District of the Amy Church. So the Amy Church definitely has been supportive, and uh, we're going to continue our affiliation with them. All right, then. Well, we certainly appreciate it. Certainly keep us up to date. Yes, sir. Uh, what's happening with Morris Brown? Yes, sir. Thank you so All much, right, sir. Thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you, guys. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, 
Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. <laughs>